An engine visibly burning oil is never a good sign, as it almost always results in an astronomic repair bill. But before we jump the gun, it's worth noting that in some cases the problem can be fixed for as little as 10 bucks. On the other hand, some oil consumption and burning is normal in most modern cars, and it can be ridiculously high. But for now, here is what those possible causes are. If your engine is burning oil, it could be a blown head gasket, leaking valve seals, worn out piston rings, a leaking turbocharger seal, or a faulty positive crankcase ventilation valve, PCV. Car burning oil causes and fixes. Blown head gasket. The head gasket is one of the first suspects when a car starts burning oil and puffing blue smoke out of the exhaust. The head gasket sits between the engine block and the cylinder head. Oil and coolant both flow through the head gasket through their own separate passages. There are several ways a gasket can start leaking. Coolant could leak into the oil passage, oil can leak into the combustion chamber, and both can leak on the outside of the engine. In this case, the oil is leaking into the combustion chamber with a possibility that coolant and oil are mixing. If you see bluish smoke coming out of the exhaust, then it's oil. And if it's white, it's coolant. Either way, the head gasket has to be replaced. But before that, you can get a head gasket test kit that costs around $20 on Amazon, or you can run a compression test. Some other symptoms you might notice are poor performance, difficulty starting the engine, check engine light plus oil and coolant loss. A blown head gasket is a serious failure that can completely destroy the engine, so it's not something you want to postpone. Unfortunately, replacing the head gasket is one of the most expensive jobs you can do on an engine. The engine literally needs to be disassembled in half to access the head gasket. How much that will cost is difficult to estimate, but it most likely won't be less than $1,200 with parts and labor. A more realistic cost especially for relatively modern cars, is $2,000 to $2,500. Leaking valve seal. Valve seals don't fail that often and usually outlive the engine itself. The valve seals sit around the valve stem and prevent oil in the valve train from going into the combustion chamber. The main symptom of leaking valve seals is oil loss, misfires, and blue smoke coming out of the exhaust. But in this case, smoke will come out of the exhaust only during cold starts and it will be a short puff of bluish smoke. Another potential symptom is fresh oil coming out of the exhaust, but that's rare. Leaking valve seals also cause a vacuum leak, the main symptom of which is an erratic idle speed. More specifically, the RPMs will jump and down when idling, and RPMs will surge each time you change gears. Difficulty starting the engine is also common, although it's easy to overlook. Testing the valve seals is pretty much impossible other than leaving the car overnight and checking for a puff of smoke as you start the engine. If you get vacuum leak symptoms along with that, that's all you need to diagnose the valve seals. Replacing the valve seals isn't a particularly cheap job, but it depends on the method. If you can find someone who is willing to replace the seals without removing the cylinder head, it will take about four hours to finish, which is around $400 for labor. A full set of new seals is between $8 and $30, depending on the number of valves the engine has. But if the cylinder head has to come off, the repair will cost as much as a head gasket replacement, plus new valve seals. Worn out piston rings. Piston rings are the main thing that holds compression inside the engine. The piston itself has a fairly low tolerance between it and the cylinder wall. However, the piston rings slide against the cylinder wall to seal the combustion chamber against the oil pan. There are also oiling rings that carry engine oil to lubricate the cylinder walls and prevent scoring. And as long as the engine is well maintained, the piston rings will last hundreds of thousands of miles. But premature wear is possible even with proper maintenance, especially if you or one of the previous owners likes to skip oil changes or get them done late. Doing so increases wear on the piston rings, and if you do it often enough, the piston rings will thin out and stop sealing. The compression inside the combustion chambers then drops drastically, which reduces performance and fuel economy. Oil will also go past the piston rings into the combustion chamber and burn constantly. That causes severe oil loss and constant blue smoke coming out of the exhaust. To diagnose the piston rings, you want to run the head gasket test and a compression test. If the head gasket test is negative but compression is low, the piston rings are shot. Replacing piston rings requires a complete engine teardown, which is why a lot of drivers opt for a replacement engine when this happens 
For example, a used 1.8 liter engine for a 2015 Civic costs between $500 to $1,200 if it has low miles. Replacing the piston rings on the same engine would cost at least $2,500. Leaking turbocharger seal. A turbocharger is one of the most stressed components in a car. Hot exhaust gases flow directly from the combustion chamber into the turbocharger and it can reach temperatures of over 1,500 Fahrenheit. To make matters even worse, the compressor wheels inside the turbocharger can spin it up to 200,000 RPMs. To keep everything in check, engine oil circulates through it to lubricate the bearings and cool the turbocharger down. Given how extreme the environment around the seal is, they can often fail, especially if you are an enthusiastic driver. Once it happens, engine oil will go into one of the turbocharger housings. Either way, the engine will start burning oil at an alarming rate. That results in thick white exhaust smoke and fresh oil coming out of the exhaust or inside the intake. Performance loss is also common. Rebuilding the turbocharger is the only solution here as long as it isn't too badly damaged due to loss of lubrication. A turbocharger rebuild will set you back between $450 and $550 plus about three to four hours of labor. If you opt to get a new turbocharger, you are looking at around $500 to $900 if you drive a smaller car with a smaller engine. But if you drive a full-size truck or a big sedan, you are looking at $1,500 to over $2,000. And of course, three to four hours of labor which is around $300 to $400. Stuck or broken positive crankcase ventilation valve. The piston rings, even when they are new, don't form a perfect seal against the cylinder wall. That causes exhaust gases to pass by the pistons and into the crankcase or oil pan. That builds pressure inside the crankcase and it has to be ventilated somewhere. To minimize pollution, those gases are diverted back into the intake manifold to burn once again in the combustion chamber. Between the crankcase and the intake manifold is a PCV valve. The PCV valve only opens when the pressure inside the crankcase reaches a certain level. It then lets the exhaust gases back, and as the pressure drops, it closes to prevent oil from getting into the intake manifold. The problem with PCV valves is that they often get stuck closed or open. If it's stuck open, oil from the oil pan will freely flow into the intake manifold. From there, it goes into the combustion chamber and burns. This leads to constant smoke coming out of the exhaust, but only a small amount that's barely noticeable. But oil loss will be severe and hard to miss. A stuck open PCV also causes a vacuum leak. So, an erratic idle speed and surging RPMs are another symptom. And so is oil in the intake manifold. Luckily, new PCV valves only cost between $2.5 and $15 at AutoZone, or about 20% more if you get an OEM one. Replacing it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and you can easily do it yourself with some basic tools. Maybe it's normal oil consumption. Before the mid-2000s rolled around, oil consumption for new and old cars was never considered normal. Anything over half a quart between oil changes or every 5,000 miles was a cause for concern. But a lot of car manufacturers today state that oil loss is normal and a lot of it. For example, Subaru states that an oil consumption of one quart every 1,000 miles is normal. Audi and BMW state that the loss of one quart of oil every 600 to 700 miles is normal. And that's regardless of whether the car has done 20,000 miles or 200,000 miles. If you ask anyone who knows anything about cars, he will tell you that this is anything but normal. And it's not normal. This is mainly due to poorly designed piston rings, but there it's no manufacturer who will do anything about it, and the car doesn't present any symptoms other than oil loss. There is no smoke out of the exhaust, there are no check engine lights or performance issues. Nothing. So, I guess in a sense, it is normal. That's why you should first check your owner's manual or contact your dealer to see how much oil consumption is normal for your specific vehicle. Is it bad to drive a car that burns oil? Driving a car that burns oil is never recommended. You won't cause any immediate damage to the engine if you keep driving, and some even do thousands of miles with a car that's burning oil. But keep in mind that you can destroy the engine because the chances of low oil pressure, no oil at all, and overheating are significantly increased. How long does the head gasket last? A head gasket is made to last the lifetime of the vehicle, and it doesn't have a service schedule.
You only replace the head gasket when it starts leaking, and that can be at 200,000 miles or later. If the engine had overheated a few times before that, the head gasket might fail sooner. But in the end, it's impossible to accurately predict how long it will last. Can bad PCV cause low oil pressure? A bad PCV valve will almost never cause low oil pressure, but it can happen. If the PCV valve is stuck open, the crankcase pressure will be under vacuum, which might lower the overall oil pressure. But a bad PCV valve can easily lead to a high oil pressure if it's stuck closed. Can a PCV valve be cleaned? Cleaning a PCV valve is a great attempt at fixing it if you can't get a new one. The number one reason a PCV valve fails is that it gets clogged up by oil sludge and carbon. Spraying some WD-40 inside will help unclog it, and it will work just as good as a new one. But if the spring inside the PCV has broken, the only thing you can do is replace it. Is it bad to drive with blown turbo seals? The main risk of driving a car with blown turbo seals is complete turbocharger failure. Since you will have to rebuild it anyway, that's not a huge problem. But there is a chance that a blown turbocharger seal lets oil into the combustion chamber. And if the engine runs on diesel, the oil will start to burn. You then won't be able to shut the engine off and it will soon overheat and destroy itself. How long does a piston ring last? Piston rings don't have set service schedules and should last at least 200,000 miles with regular maintenance and oil changes. If the car has had carbon deposit issues before, the piston rings might fail sooner, especially if oil changes weren't done on time. But other than that, piston rings usually last well over 250,000 miles. To summarize what we talked about in this video, the first thing you should check if your car starts burning oil is the PCV valve. The PCV valve is a fairly common cause and the cheapest one to fix and inspect. But if that looks good, perform a cold test to check if it's the valve seals. And if there is a ton of thick white smoke behind you when driving, inspect the turbocharger seals. Lastly, get a head gasket kit to test it and then perform a compression test. That will let you know if it's the head gasket or the piston rings. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.